have already learned what are adjectives adjectives are describing words they describe a noun or a pronoun and we have also learned the different types of adjectives like the adjective of quality adjective of quantity adjective of number adjective of number is further divided into three types definite numeral adjective indefinite numeral adjective distributive numeral adjective and definite numeral adjective can be of two types again cardinal or ordinal then we have also learned interrogative adjective demonstrative adjective possessive adjective so these are the different types of adjectives that we have learned now let us look at some examples put away the old newspapers now what is the adjective in sentence and what is the type of adjective here well first let us look at the noun here so the noun here is newspapers and what is describing the newspapers what is the word describing the noun newspapers the word describing the noun newspapers is old how are the newspapers old so old is an adjective old is an adjective and old is telling us about the condition of the newspapers so what kind of an adjective it is it is an adjective of quality because adjectives of quality tell us about the color shape size or condition of a noun or pronoun so over here the word old is telling us about the condition of the newspapers they are old so it is an adjective of quality or i can also say it is telling us about the quality of the newspapers the newspapers are old so it is an adjective of quality now let us look at this sentence there are 16 colors here what is the adjective here and what is the type of adjective let us see over here colors is the noun and what is the word describing this noun colors so if you see the word describing the noun colors is 16 so 16 is telling us how many colors are here it is telling us how many so it is telling us something about the number of colors so 16 is an adjective of number so adjectives of number tell us about the number of noun or pronoun or their position in a sentence so over here 16 is telling us about the number of noun that is the number of colors so it is an adjective of number now adjectives of number can again be of three types so what is 16 so 16 is telling us about the exact number of colors or definite number of colors so it is a definite numeral adjective and because it is telling us about the number and not the position it is cardinal so it is definite numeral adjective cardinal i still remember the first day of school now what is the adjective here well first we look at the noun so school is a noun here but there is no word describing this noun school if i look at the noun day then what is the word describing the noun day first first is describing day so which day first day i still remember the first day of school it is giving us more information about the day we are talking about the first day of school so first is an adjective now it is giving an information about some number so it is an adjective of number and it is telling us about the definite day so it is a definite numeral adjective and since it is telling us about the position so it is ordinal it is telling us about the exact position so it is definite numeral adjective 
ordinal so definite numeral adjectives of ordinal type are words like first second third fifth and so on there is enough time to study what is the adjective here and what is the type so first let us look at the noun there is enough time to study in this sentence time is the noun and what is the word describing time so if i ask you how much time how much time is there the answer you'll get is enough so enough is the word describing the noun time so enough is an adjective and because it is giving the answer to how much it is an adjective of quantity so enough is an adjective of quantity because it is telling us about how much time is there so since time is uncountable and we cannot count time so enough is describing time and it is telling us how much time so it is an adjective of quantity they have grown several plants in their garden what are the different types of adjectives here let us first look at the different nouns they have grown several plants in their garden so plants is a noun and what is describing plants what is telling us about the plants the word several so if i ask you how many plants have they grown in their garden so this word several is answering the question to how many plants several plants so several is giving more information about the plants as to how many plants so several is an adjective and what kind of adjective it is telling us about the number of plants but it is not telling us about the exact number it is telling us that there are several plants but it is not telling us about the exact number so it is an indefinite numeral adjective remember that since plants are countable that is why it comes under numeral adjective and because it is not telling us about the exact number it is an indefinite numeral adjective but if you look at the sentence there is another noun in the sentence garden do we have an adjective describing this noun yes there is describing the word garden and there is an adjective because it is giving us more information about the garden in their garden so if i ask you in whose garden the answer will be in their garden so there is telling us whose garden it is it is their garden so it is describing the noun garden so there is an adjective and because it answers the question whose it is a possessive adjective so possessive adjectives they describe a noun and they give an idea about possession or belonging that whose garden it is so they give us an idea about possession or belonging this place is wonderful what is the noun here the noun is place and what is the word describing place now if you look at this sentence this is describing place because it is telling us which specific place it is so it is pointing out to a place so it is describing the word place so this is a describing word or an adjective because it is telling us which specific place it is so this is a demonstrative adjective because it is telling us which specific place 
this place. It is pointing out at a specific place. Also, if you see, there is another word which describes the word place. That is wonderful. How is this place? Wonderful. So, it is telling us about the quality of the place. So, wonderful is also a describing word which tells us about the word place. And so, it is an adjective. What kind of adjective? Adjective of quality because it is telling us about the quality of this place. That is how is this place? It is wonderful. So, this is a demonstrative adjective and wonderful is an adjective of quality. Both these adjectives, they describe the same noun, place. So, in this sentence, there are two adjectives describing the same noun, place. Whose bag is lying there? What is the adjective here? So, first I spot the noun, bag is a noun and what is the word giving us more information about the noun? Whose? So, whose is describing the bag and it is also asking a question. So, it is an interrogative adjective. Interrogative adjectives describe a noun or a pronoun and also ask question. So, whose is an interrogative adjective whose bag is lying there but you should remember that over here whose is asking a question it is not the answer to the question whose so you should not get confused and call it a possessive adjective because possessive adjectives give answer to the question whose but over here this whose is asking the question and we know that interrogative words are used to ask questions. So, this is an interrogative adjective. Every child must go to school. What is the adjective here? Well, child is a noun and describing the noun child is the word every. This word every, because it is describing the word child, it is an adjective. What kind of adjective? Well, it is giving us an idea about the number. So, it is an adjective of number. Now, adjectives of number are further divided into three types. This adjective every, it is telling us about each and every child. So, it is telling each child must go to school. So, it is pointing at each child. So, it is distributive numeral adjective. Now, if you look at the sentence, there is another noun, school. But there is no adjective qualifying or describing the noun school. So, we have seen the examples of different types of adjectives. And we have also learned how we can find out the adjectives in a sentence. And by asking the relevant questions, we can also find out what is the type of adjective. If you like this video, then subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com to get all the learning resources as per CBSC, ICSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures on maths, science, English and social science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests, performance analysis along with actionable feedback, personal tutors to resolve the slightest of your doubts. And that's not all. You can also win exciting prizes like Playstations, iPads, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at deltastep.com, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.